Number seven then from paper two of the 2018 National Five Maths. Here we go, it's just three marks for finding the volume of a sphere. Juggling balls in the shape of a sphere with diameter 6.4 centimetres, what's the volume of that to two significant figures? What will you just look up the front? You look up the front and you'll find V equals 4 upon 3 pi r cubed. You look at the sphere, that's my little indication it's not a circle, it's a sphere. Bit of artistry there. I once made a coiled pot in art, I remember. Well, if the diameter is 6.4, that means the radius is going to be 3.2. So that's what I'll be putting in. But apart from that, it's just putting these figures. 4 upon 3, I'll say times pi, times 3.2 cubed. And then use your calculator. Now when you do that, you get 137.258 and so on. But it said two significant figures. So that's the first two figures. That's the one and the three, but it's followed by a seven, so it's four. But it's in the hundreds, so 140. But not point anything, just 140 centimetres cubed. Number eight then. Solve this little trig equation where x is between 0 and 360 but not including the 360. Well, it's just an equation. I want x, so you just get rid of the bits and pieces. Get rid of the 2 first. Take the 2 across and subtract, and that's 1. So 7 sine x, it's a pest putting the wee degree sign in. If you don't put it in, they're not going to penalise you for that. Most folk leave it out, in fact. So that would be take that multiplying 7 across and divide. And finally, the inverse of that is inverse sine of a seventh. Now, my next line is going to be for the answer, and there should be two parts to the answer. And the way I'll do that is I'll use my calculator to get the angle and the cast diagram to find where it goes. Quite often it's a bit check. If I can't read that thing at the top, I'll just quickly do sine 90 just to check it comes to 1, so I know I'm in degrees. Anyway, so I want inverse sine of that. And that's 8.21, not an awful lot. Then, where does that go? Well, that's positive, so you're either in the first quadrant or you're in the second quadrant. So it's either this angle here or this angle here. So your answers are either 8.2, I think at this point, I'll just take that away, 8.2, or 180 minus that. I'll show that working. 180 minus 8.2. So x is 8.2 or 171.8. Notice there's no degree signs here because x is just a number. But, maybe I should have put that away there as well. But they're not going to bother. Most folk don't. So that'd be best putting those degree signs in. You'll probably leave them out there, but put them in here. And I'll be fine.